Hey guys, it's your boy Danny, and welcome back to another generic YouTube intro. What's that? I did it. I did it right. Fuck. Oh well. <laughs> uh, today I got some stuff in the mail. Um, I was sick a couple weeks ago, and you know when you're uh, self-isolating in this day and age, you 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 get real bored when you. You can't go to work, and nobody wants to be around you because you're gonna kill them. So I order stuff from Amazon. You know, because that's what you do when you're trapped by yourself alone in your room with nothing else or nobody else to talk to except your children. So, I ordered some scissors. I needed some new ones. I've been rocking these Hydrofarm J's for a minute. Um, and they do good. I like the J's, the little curved angle. But um, I've used them for some hardier work than they're meant for. Um, so, I've probably got like at least a dozen more of these so it's probably time to uh, move on to something new so I ordered some new shit I got usually I'd go to a uh, the hydro store down the street and I'd get some hydro farm or something like that some general hydro um, scissors but you know like I said I was trapped and lonely so you know Amazon's always there for you when you're trapped and lonely. So I ordered some uh, some bonsai shears, and these are the Yield Doctor, which you know, with a clever name like that, how could they not be great, especially from Amazon? Um, and then I ordered these ones. I actually I I opened that one. I already knew what it was gonna look like and what it's like on the inside. This one. I just got out of the mailbox today, so, oh yeah, listen to that fresh rip. Um, I haven't seen these yet. They feel like there's nothing in the package, so, wow. There is almost nothing in the package, but it's three bonsai shears. They're kind of an interesting design that I've looked at for a while. Let me take them out of the pack instead of just <laughs> to myself. Maybe you guys could see them. That's why I have a camera and I'm talking to myself in a room, right? I could think this stuff by myself. Um, here's what they look like. It is an interesting design. I've seen them um, here and there and I kind of liked them. I wanted to see how they would work. These are off the bat nice and oily because that's what you want to cut your plants with is oil. Um, I'm sure it's just to keep them from rusting in your in, in shipment, but they are uh, 4.1 inch bonsai per stainless pruners trimmers made in China, so we know they'll be great. Um, came in with a pack of three for I don't know, six dollars or something like that. So two dollars each. I couldn't tell on the picture if they came with like a locking mechanism. It seems like they don't. The oil is gonna be a pain at the moment, but I kind of like this small. I like the shape. It almost remind me of like uh, the mandibles, the mouth parts of like an insect. You know, like. Um. Sorry about that. So, and they came with little plastic pouches. I guess that's nice. Um, I guess I'll have to find something to cut because I don't have any real use for them right now. So, uh, I don't know why I bought them. I just was bored and lonely. So, I bought them. Um, 
And these are the stray edge ones, which I don't know why I bought them, because like I've said a dozen times, oh, look at that. I already knew this was here, but oh, look at that. Um, well, that's on sturdy. A nice friendly thank you from the yield doctor. Nothing makes you feel more special than a thank you card. Thank you for your money. We appreciate it. So off the top, let's see how these feel in my hand. They're, they look identical to the same style. These are also bonsai shears. So apparently I'm going to get really into bonsai. Um, I, I, I don't know. They feel like they've got some stick, st stickness to them, whatever that means. The blades are real tight. There's no wobble in them. So, uh, doesn't say what kind of stainless steel. Uh, excuse me. That's what you're here for. My belching. These are also made in China, so uh, I don't know what quality of stainless steel. There's a large swing in quality depending on where the stainless steel comes from and which quality, what mineral contents make up the steel, if you didn't know. Um, I would say, if you'd like to learn more, follow the link in the description, but I don't have that, so... Uh, Maybe in the future, check the link in the description for if I ever break down the chemistry of stainless steel qualities and where they're from. Um, that sounds like something for a video I'd make for my knife collection. But I, I, I don't have a knife collection. That would be weird. Anyways... These small ones are really what I wanted, and it came in a two-pack for, it was probably like six bucks, I forget. I could look and have a really informative, nice video, but uh, here we are. These are the, ooh. Okay. Uh, these bigger ones, they feel about the same. They are a little more wobbly in the handle which is kind of concerning since the wombly ones are the ones you would expect to uh, cut more heavy duty items. So I don't know, Mr. Doctor, and how are you, how are you, if I'm using scissors, my yield is already as doctored as it could be. So is it because you're like advertising for like trimming flour? You know, um, so you're doctoring up the way the final product looks. If you're in California or any other legal state, you might know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I don't, I, I don't know, man. We'll see how they work and how they last. I'll make sure to keep you up to date as I make more videos when I finally, uh, propagate like this philodendron here which I'll probably wait for it to at least get down to the couch before I start chopping it into propagations and I'll probably be adding some amblesius mites to this maybe once or twice long before um, and if you don't know what that means it's not there, but eventually you're going to want to check the link in the description for a video on that, too. Um, so now I've been rambling for about 10 minutes. Um, and I have done nothing to determine whether these are quality or not scissors. So I think it might be time to edit this down to less than almost 11 minutes and add some clips of me doing something that would tell you how the yield doctor 
doctors up my yield. That makes it sound like I'm doing something nefarious. I'm doctoring up my yields. Um, I mean, thanks, yield doctor. You're the scissors that I, the, uh, you do the, the scissoring, um, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, I am going to find some isopropyl alcohol. I think I have it in my tattooing box. Um, if you want to see me giving myself horrible tattoos, you can eventually check the link in the description. <laughs> okay. I should actually make a video you'll want to watch now. Dude, I'll get there. Just bear with me, guys. Just just hang in there. I'll I'll maybe do it one day. Um let me clean off all this oil on these other scissors that I actually was interested in, and we will see what I've got to deal work with, what I can wear. I'll, I, have to, I don't know what I'm doing. My hands, what do I do with them? Ah, 12 minutes now. Wow, I could kill some time. Jeez. Yeah, let's do something now. So, I still don't know what I need to use my scissors for, and there's no need to just start cutting random things like so many people with knife collections would do if they unboxed a new knife or sharp object and just cut boxes and paper and... That does sound fun, though. Anyways, I was going to clear some of the oil off of these bonsai shears and see how they feel in my hand and what they're like. I got some paper towels and I found my isopropyl alcohol, some 91%. Um, it's good for removing oils and stuff. Not the best for sterilizing when it comes to sterilizing my plants and hello Mr. Neighbor with the choppa. We appreciate your sounds. I hope you can't hear that, but I can. Um, where was I? Distracted, that's right. Because that doesn't happen easily. No. Um, what? It's good for removing like oils and residue for basic cleaning, but to sterilize. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of times, will talk about sterilizing their scissors before they use them to prevent transmitting any uh, fungal diseases or viral contaminants to their plants, thus reducing the growth or the propagation rates or any number of things that would be affected by having a sick plant or having a disease on your plant, just like you. Diseases aren't great for a living thing. They're great for the living thing that causes the disease, but uh, not the infected thing. That's probably something we're all familiar with plenty at this point, seeing as how that's the cause of this video being made. Um, anyways. Let's clean off some of this oil. I'm just gonna do one set of scissors, so then if I end up not using them as much, the oil that's stored on, the oil that's stored on my other pairs will still prevent them from developing rust, because I'm still not sure what the quality of these scissors is, so all I can do is hope for the best. But they are oily is all Sheboygan, Sorry to people in Sheboygan, whichever state that is. I'm gonna take a guess of Minnesota or Wisconsin. Um, shout out to Sheboygan. Sorry if I accidentally just called you all oily or greasy. 
that was not what I meant. So, alcohol is great at removing oils, if I didn't already say that. And I am doing that now. So now, I have an almost oil-free pair of scissors. Ooh, they, they just are shredding this paper towel up, so you know that means they are sharp because it's a towel made of the strongest material known to man, paper. Let's get the oils off my hands. Here we go. The blades sit nicely. They look like they will dull each other quickly. They're like angled in doing that kind of number. Um, so I don't know how the longevity is. Maybe that's why they give you three pairs because this one will only last so long. Um, they seem to shift left to right, but I can press them together so that will keep them working for, you know, when something's too hard, the scissors will just kind of push apart and they won't cut. If the blades don't touch, they don't cut. If you didn't know how scissors work, that's part of it. If you didn't already know. Um, they're small. There's not a lot of tension. I definitely wouldn't use these to, uh, trim some recreational use flower here in the state of California. You, you know, unless you don't know, then uh, if you haven't already Googled it, you might know soon enough. But uh, yeah, they seem all right. Do I have anything I can cut? I'm not gonna propagate anything right now. I do have a golden pothos that I'm rooting. I like to root the tips before I start chopping it to propagate. Because it's better to have them like started and alive still than cutting them into pieces and then hoping for them to survive, in my opinion. It's not like um, any number of other plants you take cuttings from. It's an, it's an aeroid. It produces you know, um, aerial roots readily. It produces advantageous roots once it touches a surface that it can grow into. So there's no need to cut it from the plant before it has roots to survive because it just stresses it and makes it take longer. So why not? Um, but what do I have to do that with? I don't know. I should actually sterilize them before I cut something though, like I said. So I do have a bottle of bleach that I keep. I got a spray bottle. It's a uh, 10% bleach, 10% bleach to water. So one milliliter for every 10 milliliters of solution that you want, that would be 10%, one to 10. A hundred, you get 10 milliliters. A thousand, you get a hundred. You, you guys get math, maybe. So all you really gotta do is just give it a little spritz and spritz. And let it sit for a minute. One minute, 10% bleach, you will disinfect just about anything that could be on your surface of anything, anything, you know, you, uh, think you got some, some pandemic in your, in your mouth, 10% bleach, you know, you, uh, definitely shouldn't do that. That's one thing you should definitely not ever do with bleach. Um, yeah. Sorry for, 
for going there. Please forgive me, algorithm. Don't listen to what I just said. Maybe I'll edit that. And we'll start back now. Hey guys, generic YouTube intro. No, I'm not doing, I'm not doing that. Oh, um, shoot. Well then, has that been a minute? I guess only you guys with the time counter on your videos will know. Oh, books, you're in my way, so, oh, so in my way. Nothing like a little bit of bleach on your scissors instantly tarnishing the blades to make you feel like that is a very quality stainless steel that has now become very much stained, if you can see that. I don't think you can. Maybe you see those little spots on the blade? Yeah, those weren't there before, so definitely a sign of quality in your stainless steel that so rapidly stains. Great. Well, test one of quality. No, not a check. That's a good, checks are good, right? Not check. Well, what do I got to bonsai? I do have this little sad leaf. It's an older leaf on my uh, jungle velvet, Calithia. Calithia Warzer Kariki Tiki Tabby. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Um, and you, you all might know how I do with, the, the, with, with that. Um, let's see how it cuts. I'm sure it will. It actually just does just snip right through that. That was pretty quality in the cut. At least when you start from the thin side, that worked pretty well. Okay. Okay. That's all I got to say about that. They're uh, scissors doing scissory things. So, you know, I could complain about it, but... I'll just leave it at that. So like I said, um, with these, I will use them um, in some of my videos when I start taking some propagations, maybe from this golden pothos when I trim it, once those tips over here root. Let me maybe do more than just say these tips over here when they root. I'll actually show you. I have a tray here. Um, with two of the tips in there sprayed down, they will root. They have their little root nubs already in the soil and they will root. Give it another week or so and I'll trim those up and uh, have a video for you. Yay. So that's about all I got for today um because like I said I didn't really buy the scissors because I needed to cut a lot I did it because I was bored and alone whilst isolating while I was sick and now I have plenty of scissors because we all love scissors All right, thanks for watching and uh, generic YouTube outro. See you next time. If you were entertained by this video or you found 
you didn't. Any of it uh, informative or helpful? Um, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications or whatever it is people say in a generic YouTube video outro. Um, like, comment, dislike. I, I don't know. Just do it if you feel like it or find something better. I'm sure there's plenty of that. Um, bye.